Welcome. I hope you enjoy this book called Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus was born in Italy more than 500 years ago. Columbus lived near the sea in a city called Genoa. He loved to watch ships come and go. He wished he could sail away on them. As a child, Columbus worked with his father making cloth, but the young boy dreamed only of a life at sea. Columbus's dreams came true when he turned 14 years old. He got a job as a helper on a ship. Soon he was a real sailor. Columbus loved his new life. He took many trips. He saw many cities. He heard people speak of rich, faraway places. And what was the most wonderful place of all? The Indies. The Indies was a land filled with gold and spices, but getting there was very hard. The mountains and deserts in between were dangerous. So Columbus had a better idea. Everyone knew the Indies lay across the land, far to the east, but only Columbus thought he could get there by sailing west. He would do what no one thought was possible. He would cross the great western ocean. King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella of Spain agreed to pay for Columbus's trip. People in other countries thought Columbus was crazy. They were sure he would never make it all the way across the ocean. Columbus promised to bring riches back to Spain. He set sail on August 3, 1492. Columbus took three ships, the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. He brought about a hundred men with him. They sailed across the lonely ocean for weeks and weeks. Columbus's men were scared and tired. Would they ever reach land? Yes, on October 12, 1492, they saw it a bright green island. They had reached the Indies at last. Or had they? Friendly people welcomed Columbus to their land. These natives had never seen people with skin so white. They had never seen men wear so much clothing. They thought Columbus must have fallen from the sky. Columbus called the natives Indians. He gave them small bells that jingled. They gave him fruit, thread, and parrots. But where is the gold? Columbus wondered. Columbus placed the flag of Spain on the island. He thought the land now belonged to that country. He did not ask the natives if this was okay. Today we know that Columbus made a mistake. He did not find a path to the Indies. He found the new world. 
Of course, it was not new to the people who lived there. We now call these lands North America and South America. Columbus never did find all of the gold he wanted, but we remember him today as a brave sailor, and we honor him for his mistake. The end.